Welcome to your daily devotional, My Life Today, December and Eternal Life. December 30th Why the great controversy was permitted and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world has been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. Ephesians 3 verses 9 and 10 For what was the great controversy permitted to continue throughout the ages? Why was it that Satan's existence was not cut short at the outset of his rebellion? It was that the universe might be convinced of God's justice in his dealing with evil, that sin might receive eternal condemnation. In the plan of redemption, there are heights and depths that eternity itself can never exhaust, marvels into which the angels desire to look. The redeemed only of all created beings have in their own experience known the actual conflict with sin they have wrought with Christ and, as even the angels could not do, have entered into the fellowship of his sufferings. He has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places that, in the ages to come, he might shew the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. As the nations of the saved looked upon their Redeemer and behold the eternal glory of the Father shining in his countenance, as they behold his throne, which is from everlasting to everlasting, and know that his kingdom is to have no end, they break forth in rapturous song. Mercy, tenderness, and parental love are seen to blend with holiness, justice, and power. While we behold the majesty of his throne, high and lifted up, we see his character in its gracious manifestations and comprehend as never before the significance of that endearing title, Our Father. The result of the Savior's conflict with the powers of darkness is joy to the redeemed, redounding to the glory of God throughout eternity. An eternal life, December 30th.